Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, I've got some emulation news for you. We're talking about the Switch, NES, PlayStation 4, ROM hacking, and the Mister. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about something extremely interesting, NES emulation on a USB key. Yes, you heard that correctly. This is all thanks to a brand new project called NES UEFI. UEFI stands for Subscribe to Mr. Sujano, or it stands for Unified Extensible Firmware Interface. It depends on how you want to interpret that. Now, NES UEFI is available right on GitHub. I'll leave a link in the description below. Feel free to check it out. It's 100% free. The beauty about this project is you don't even need an operating system on your PC in order to enjoy it. All you have to do is install NES UEFI right to a USB stick, Plug that USB stick into your PC and when you're selecting a boot disk, select the USB stick. From then it should boot right into the NES emulator. It is pretty amazing. If you want to see NES UEFI in action, I'll leave a link to the developer's YouTube page in the description below. I'll actually just link this video. They boot up NES UEFI and start playing Super Mario. Now it is worth pointing out that NES UEFI is still in the early stages of development. It's not fully fleshed out just yet. Under known issues here, it says mappers are not implemented yet, it does not support audio emulation yet, only single player mode is supported, and NES UEFI only supports PS2 keyboard. So this is something worth paying attention to and it's going to get better in the future. Next up, we're talking about PlayStation 4 emulation on PC with GPCS4. This emulator is alive and well, and it just got a brand new release. Before you get too excited, GPCS4 is still in extremely early stages of development. In fact, development has just resumed. We thought this emulator was kind of toast because the latest update was back in February of 2020. And then 13 days ago, out of nowhere, it became alive again. And then two days ago, well, we've got a brand new update here. Uh, version 0.20 supports simple compute shader, compute ring, support cube map texture, and improved GCN compiler. I will leave a link to this GitHub in the description below. Feel free to check it out if you want, but I do recommend being patient here and maybe waiting for a later implementation. Moving on, and we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline. Yes, Skyline is getting better yet again. We've been talking about this one day in and day out, and the improvements here keep coming. Project Diva's rendering has greatly improved, the character models are looking a lot more accurate, and the FPS is close to 30. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu is booting and getting further and looking a lot better. Fire Emblem Three Houses is booting. Kirby and the Forgotten Land demo is rendering a little bit better and looking a little bit better. It's still got a ways to go. ARMS is now booting, and the rendering in Super Mario Odyssey is getting better. You can now make out some things. Next up, we're talking about ROM hacking on the Sega Master System. There's a new game here that has been translated to English, Tensai Bakabon. So translated to English, this game is called The Genius Bakabon. And if we take a look at the screenshots here, it's classified as an action platformer, and it looks fairly interesting. If you have never played this game before, it might be worth checking out. Last up here, we're talking about hardware emulation with the Mr. FPGA. There is a brand new core that's just been released. This new core is for the SNK Triple Z80, and I'll leave a link to the post in the description below. This is an 8-bit arcade system with a total of 19 games in its library. Let me know in the comments below if you've played any of them and which one is your favorite. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was Switch emulation on Android, PS4 emulation on PC, NES emulation on a USB key, the Mister, or even ROM hacking. Let me know your thoughts about any of that stuff in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.